Hi there. In today's video, we're going to walk you through how to save a full thread on Twitter, X, Blue Sky, or LinkedIn. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to show it on X, but the process works the same way on any of the other social networks that Dewey supports. Now, before I get into that, I just want to give a little bit of a background or a history on this feature. In the past, Twitter's API made it really simple for third-party developer tools like Dewey to be able to understand that a tweet was part of a larger thread of tweets, a collection of tweets that were all linked one after another. That was part of the endpoint, meaning that we could read and see that, that that was part of the data. And then when you bookmarked something on Twitter, we would be able to just pull in the full thread for you automatically. When Twitter turned into X, they started making changes to their API. And that was one of the endpoints that was removed. We never got a clear answer why, but what we do know is that Dewey could no longer tell if a tweet was part of a thread. And so for all intents and purposes, we just stopped pulling in full threads into Dewey. Today, we're excited to announce that we've figured out a way to do this without the X API. We completely bypass it. And we can now tell whether a tweet is the first of a set of tweets, meaning it's the first tweet of a thread, and we can give you the option of pulling that full thread. You'll still have the option to just bookmark that individual tweet and not the full thread. But if you want to, we now make it possible for you to do so to pull in the full thread. So let's walk through a quick tutorial how to do this. I'm going to look for a tweet. I'm going to use this one from Luli, at Reason is Fun. And when I click it, I will now see two options. One, I could always just click the bookmark icon, which I'll get back to in a second, or I can click this button up top, which Dewey is overlaying that says save entire thread. This button will only appear on tweets that Dewey has identified as being part of a thread of tweets. Now this again will only work if you have downloaded the Dewey Chrome extension. So if you have not done that so far, pause this video and go download the Chrome extension for Dewey. And if you're unsure how to do that, we have a video walking through how to do that as well. But back to this tutorial. Instead of clicking this button, which will do what it says, it will save the entire thread, I'm going to show you another way that we've identified uh, to make this easier for you. Let's say you go ahead and click the bookmark icon that is part of the native Twitter or X experience. Once you click that, you'll now see a pop-up from Dewey that says, do you want to save the entire thread? Clicking this will do the same thing as clicking that larger button, and it will now pull in the entire thread. You'll see a little notification that says saved entire thread. Let's go back into Dewey and make sure that that worked. I'm back in Dewey, and I'm going to refresh the page. And now I see the tweet from Luli is here. But how do I know that the full thread has been pulled in? You'll see a small little icon in the bottom right corner with the thread emoji. Once you click that, you'll now see that not just the first tweet was pulled in by Dewey, but all of the subsequent tweets of the thread were pulled in as well. Now, this will work on Blue Sky and LinkedIn. LinkedIn, it's a little bit less common for people to do threads just because of the nature of how uh, their post and comment uh, system is, is built. Uh, but it does happen, and so we give you that option on there as well. But this is a hopefully a neat little feature that makes bookmarking a little bit easier for you because oftentimes when we are bookmarking um, a thread, we're interested in all of the contents of that thread, not just the first tweet. Unfortunately, we won't be able to go back to all of the tweets that you've saved uh, in the past that were parts of threads that Dewey wasn't able to identify. What you can do is go back to them manually, and that's a little bit of a pain, but if you don't mind doing that, you can go ahead and open them up individually and you'll now see that Dewey button that says save entire thread or just use this moving forward to make sure that any content that you're capturing into Dewey that is part of a thread, you can save all of the contents that are associated with it. We hope this is helpful.